What's going on everybody? Rob here, aka Trev 2323 TREV2323. Subscribe, like, and share. Sorry about the lighting. It's not my professional lighting. I'm actually in my bathroom right now. Uh, I wanted to do a quick thing about uh, Guillain Barre, about people that get their, uh, their uh, I keep saying penicillin shots, that's so funny, uh, flu shots. You know, you're told all the time, get your flu shots, get your flu shots, everybody needs your flu shots. Well, I have a close family member that got their flu shot all the time for the past 10 years, got their flu shot, but from the same place, more or less. But they had recently had to go to another doctor visit, so the doctor there says, hey, would you like to get your flu shot? So they said, yeah, I'm here, might as well get my flu shot. So they got their flu shot. Uh, about a week later, they started getting really bad symptoms, really bad side effects. Now this Guillain-Barre, I, I didn't hear anything about it realistically until I found that this happened to this person, this family member of mine. And uh, she felt like really like tingling and both sides of her cheeks, not just one side of her cheeks, both sides of her cheeks tingling really bad. And then the her eyes were like very foggy. She said there were like a cloud that she couldn't see through the cloud. And it wasn't dizziness, it wasn't like vertigo, but it was uh, a, a lot of pressure, pressure on the head. But here's the, here's the kicker that everybody had in common that I've been finding out is that the tongue, the brain cannot tell the tongue to swallow. And the tongue, like you really have no feeling of your tongue and sometimes your throat, and the brain is not telling the tongue to swallow. It's almost as if you have to relearn to swallow. On top of that was uh, the heaviness of actually one arm, but I've heard of other people that the whole body went completely limp, like couldn't get out of bed, but this person had the one arm that they had to lift with the other arm. So two or three trips to the emergency room the person had to go through, and nobody could figure it out. Nobody could figure it out. And a, a family member of ours was uh, uh, at another hospital where they give flu shots, and they said that they had two people come back this year with the exact same symptoms that they didn't feel their tongue that they couldn't swallow and everybody's what they had in common was it was after they got the flu shot this year now this video was shot in 2019 so i never heard of uh, guillain barre guillain, guillain barre syndrome i never heard of that but apparently that's a side effect that you could get from the flu and it's a small percentage but another person that I know of on top of that said that their close friend almost died from the flu shot, wound up in the hospital because they could not get out of bed. That they had the same thing that, now the person that I know lost 10 pounds in two weeks because she couldn't eat anything. She couldn't get anything down. She, her brain could not tell her mouth to eat or to swallow. She had no appetite at the table would cause nausea. So uh, here we're almost on 30 days later, about 30 days later, and the person still has the really heaviness in the arm, uh, the cloudiness of the eyes, and they're like episodes that come, and the really, the pressure, the really bad pressure headaches, and uh, I don't know what happened to the person in the hospital, I'm going to try to get that whole story tomorrow, but everybody has to go to uh neuro now the neuro consult because there's all these other tests that they got to run of course nobody is really saying that this is specifically this syndrome so right now this is like a conspiracy theory we're going through everybody's going through troubleshooting to find out so we still have some other steps to go but i just wanted to let people know out there if you look there's more than one flu when you get the flu shot there are different strands of flu shots that you get and apparently one place that this person used to go to for 10 years got them no problem got it at the other place and there was a bad side effect but they're saying well it might be this it might be that it might be uh, some kind of migraine that causes uh the pressure headaches and all that but i can't with the migraine it doesn't cause the limpness of your tongue and the limpness of your body so this is just side effects if if you're feeling tingling or your your, your tongue is hurting from the flu shot it may be it's a gillian barre like effect it might not actually be the syndrome but it's a side effect of the flu shot so i just wanted to put this out there for you i'm still gonna do some videos i haven't uploaded in a while but 
I'm uh, in a like a 30 day project that I'm doing right now. I'm making a laundry room, mud room, and on top of that, I had to get the boat out the water. So there are videos to come. I'm just trying to knock out this laundry room, mud room before the winter sets in. All right. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Please share this video for people that are on the fence about flu shots. All right. And oh, another thing, a lot of people are saying vitamin D. Look up Google search vitamin D for flu shots. They said if you're not getting your flu shots, take vitamin D supplements. All right. Bye bye.